Dear ladies and gentlemen, this video guide is dedicated to help you get rid of moviesearch.org browser hijacker. This uh, particular hijacker mainly attacks Google Chrome browser and its attack is successful when the appropriate extension is installed. So you need to be very careful whenever such uh, strange pop-ups appear in your browser that may claim that you need to download and install some browser extension because this automatically leads to browser hijacking. Your default home page and your default search engine may be changed without, without your permission and so suddenly you may notice this moviesearch.org to be in place. You need to be very careful and to get rid of this hijacker as soon as possible. For this purpose you need to access browser menu, click on more tools and choose extensions. Now find some suspicious browser extensions. If they are enabled you need to de disable and uh, to get rid of them. Basically this should fix the problem. However, it could be that your Mac computer is additionally messed up with certain adware type program. So we recommend that you perform additional scanning of your Mac with the Combo Cleaner antivirus, which you may get on the official website combocleaner.com. Download the program and install it and start it from the launch pad. So uh, it looks like uh, it is described on the official landing page. In my case it's a premium version, but in your case it will be in the trial mode. You may click on Start Combo Scan button, so the program will begin free scanning of your Mac. This is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner and Tavars. As you see, uh, so far 28 threads were found in our computer. Now, if you click on Review Results, you'll be able to see the detailed description of each thread. And, by the way, uh, their location will also be uh, provided. So, what you can do is uh, go to the um, Applications area of your Mac and uh, look for suspicious software and right-click on it and move it to the trash. Also, you may go to the exact location of each thread and delete one thread at a time. And this will be manual removal of threads. Or you may remove all these threads automatically, however, with the premium license of the program.